Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, we are going to troubleshoot and hopefully solve the how to fix USB device not recognized in Windows 10 issue. This mainly occurs when the USB driver or controller has become unstable or corrupt, a clash in Windows update, or the USB device has entered selective suspense. To get started, click on the Windows search bar and type in device manager. Click on it. In the first part of this tutorial, we are going to mainly use Device Manager. In here, search for Universal Serial Bus Controllers. What we want to do first is scan for hardware changes. To do this, right-click on USB controllers and select Scan for Hardware Changes. This is very fast to complete. Once it is done, you can check if this fixed your USB device not recognized issue. For the next method, we stay in Device Manager. Click on the little arrow next to Universal Serial Bus Controllers. Search for USB Root Hub. Right click on it and select Update Driver. Select the first option. Search automatically for drivers. This might not have the highest chance to succeed, but it's worth a try. If Windows finds a better driver to install, continue in the short wizard and Windows should do the rest. Close the window if Windows doesn't find a better driver. Right click on USB root hub once more and select update driver. This time we take the second option, which is browse my computer for drivers. Select the last option. Let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Select USB root hub, followed by clicking on next. This takes a short bit to complete. If you have more than one USB root hub, you should repeat the steps on every hub. After this, it's best to restart your PC and then try if your USB problem is fixed. When this doesn't work, it's a good idea to do the previous steps once more, but instead of doing this on the USB root hub, you should do it on the host controller. The name is probably different than on my PC, but it should have the name host controller in it. Same as before, if you have multiple host controllers, make sure to try updating the driver on all controllers. When this doesn't work, continue on to the next method. We remain in Device Manager for the last time. With this next one, we are going to reinstall the USB drivers for the USB root hubs and USB host controllers. It's best to start with the hub or hubs. Right click on a root hub and select uninstall device. Before you do this, keep in mind that you might temporarily disable your mouse and keyboard. When this is the case, manually reboot your PC and wait for a few minutes. After that, Windows 10 has reinstalled the USB drivers automatically. If you have a laptop, you can use the touchpad to scan for hardware changes, as the result is almost the same. Next, you want to do the same for the USB host controllers. Right-click on it and select Uninstall device. After doing this, there is a big chance that your universal serial bus controllers disappear from the device manager. Reboot your PC and wait for a few minutes before you retry connecting the device. Hopefully this method has solved your issue. Next, we are going to check for Windows updates. Having the latest updates can help with the USB connection problem as certain Windows updates can have an impact on your USB devices. Click on the Windows search bar and type in check for updates. In here there are two options. When you have updates available, click on download and install to continue. When the update is done, reboot your PC. Otherwise, click on the check for updates button. When clicking on this, Windows 10 automatically installs the available updates that it finds. After that, make sure to restart your PC. In the last method, we are going to disable the USB selective suspend setting. What this setting basically does is allow your hub to suspend certain USB ports for power saving without affecting other ports. It happens that the selective suspend setting malfunctions and doesn't turn the port back on, or that it impacts ports in another way. Search for choose a power plan in the Windows search bar. Click on it. Select Change Plan Settings next to your current selected plan. Click on Change Advanced Power Settings. After that, open the drop down arrow next to USB and USB Selective Suspend Setting. In here, you want to change both battery and plugged in to disabled if you have a laptop. If you have a desktop, change the plugged in setting to disabled. Click on OK to save the settings. Hopefully, after following this tutorial, you were able to solve the how to fix USB device not recognized in Windows 10 issue. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. 
Be sure to subscribe if you want to watch more Windows or software-related tutorials. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.